Hello. Hi, Sarah. Yeah. Hi, this is Ryan Token. You responded to my Craigslist ad that I was looking for people to be part of our costume judgment study for $400. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, I can go over it again if you wanted me to. Okay. Basically, my company, uh, we make Halloween costumes, okay? Uh-huh. And we were looking for, uh, it, well, roughly 200 people. We can do plus or minus if we can't find everybody, but... Um, 200 people to be part of our um, study where we're basically uh-huh. we name a bunch of costume ideas to you and then you you basically on a one to five scale just give your opinion one being bad five being you know highly recommended and then we mail uh-huh. you, we mail you a check okay yeah okay do you remember the ad or i mean some people you know it was probably yeah no no it's, it sounds familiar now okay okay well um like I said, just be honest with us. That's the big thing. Okay. I mean, we're uh-huh. don't tell us what we want to hear. We have, you know, we have a pretty elaborate design team, and some costumes are, excuse me, some costumes are big hits, and some are big misses, and we like to get ahead of it, you know, before we go yeah. spend a bunch of money and get them out there. So, um, okay. Well, just so you know, I have a bunch of our. Um, a bunch of our marketing team, our marketing and design team on here, and we're just going to start uh, rattling off costume ideas, and then you just give it a one to five. One being you wouldn't okay. recommend it, five being you would recommend it. Okay. Okay. Uh, Dwight, are you there? Yeah, how's it going? Hey, you want my costume first? Yeah, Dwight, you go ahead and go ahead. Yeah, I got a... Uh a green goblin costume i don't know if you ever seen the uh, the spider-man's the, the green goblin uh yeah but but with my costumes i take bits and pieces out in my particular costume um this one is crotchless it's for the adults chill okay and uh mike uh the naughty schoolgirl outfit but she's not wearing any any underpants uh, uh, three. Okay, uh, Justin. Uh, little orphan Annie, uh, but with the uh, butthole cut out of it. Two. All right, uh, Tux. Uh, the Ebola out, uh, outfit, except with your dick hanging out. <laughs> three. Okay, and. I'm going to say this is just your traditional um, vampire, uh, just your, you know, cut a line vampire costume. But much, much like what was mentioned earlier, there is an actual cutout where the butthole is. Kill. Okay, Dwight? I would like to personally, I would uh, do a biker outfit. Um,. And the biker would have a picture of you as he walked around in his crotchless pants, and he jerked off. One. All right. Um, Mike? Skinny costumes for fat girls with crotchless panties. Uh, two. Okay, Justin? Uh, The neighborhood dog fucker with the ass cut out. Three. All right. Tux? Eh... The the bullet, you know the the nurse in Maine is like riding the bike around. I I want to get a costume of her, except she got dick hanging out. One. Okay, okay. Um, this this one is actually called um the urinator, and it's a pretty elaborate uh costume where the person just walks around and there is a fake penis and it ju- and you carry around a uh it's a, an eight gallon backpack but it's well hidden in the costume and it just it just urinates non-stop because you put in a, a special liquid and so it looks like urine and it has like a uh like an asparagus smell and it just urinates non-stop oh and there's a hole where the butthole is five oh nice thank you dwight uh, this is actually a, a partner costume. Uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, people there, there would be a chicken, a full grown chicken, with the butthole cut out, and then you would just have just a random redneck. You would run up and just fuck it, just fuck the shit out of it. 
ten. A ten? Yeah, okay, so we got to put you down for a five because we can't go higher than five. But apparently that one's highly recommended, and as soon as it hits the market, she's buying one. All right, Mike? Uh, the devil costume with the butthole cut out. <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. I'm going to try another one. Oh, here's my clock that's going to take fucking forever to goddamn ding. Perfect timing clock. Perfect fucking timing. I hate the clock. I hate the fucking clock. You still got 10 minutes before your clock goes off. No, <laughs> it's going off right now. Can you not hear it? No, I can hear it. Perfect. I'll offer you $100 for it. <laughs> this is the clock. Hi, I'm looking for Eddie. Uh, he's actually asleep. I'm sorry, what was that? He's actually asleep. Um, oh. Well, maybe maybe you could help because Eddie had actually signed up to be part of um, our costume uh, judgment panel. Um, I work for a uh, co uh, like a Halloween costume company. We make <coughs> costumes, and we put out a Craigslist ad, and we were we're offering four hundred dollars to uh, two hundred people to help us go through our costume ideas and just give them a simple grade of one to five. Okay. Um, it, it, we don't necessarily need Eddie, but Eddie had signed up so anybody in his household could participate. Okay. Are you interested? Oh yeah. How does all that work? I mean, um, it's pretty simple. My pan my panel of uh, designers. We just go ahead and we name off costumes with short descriptions, and then you one being you wouldn't recommend it. Five being you'd strongly recommend it. And then when we're all said and done, you just get to, you know, a check gets mailed to you. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's it's pretty simple. He had signed up for it, but right in there it said, you know, anybody in the household could do it. So that's why I'm giving you the option since he's sleeping because, unfortunately, we're doing these tonight. So okay. being Halloween, you know, we're trying to, trying to be yes. <laughs> perfect marketing time, right? So, yeah. okay. Um, well, it, this doesn't take too long either. Um, I, I have the designers on with me, so we're just going to start spitting out costume ideas, and you just say one, two, three, four, or five, and then I, I write that down, okay? Okay. Uh, Dwight, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, my costume uh, is a it's a princess costume. She would be wearing a tiara, but this princess has a dick. Well, um... Okay, uh, Espa. All right, um, I have a uh, horsey cat costume. Um, a horsey cat is actually a combination of a horse and a cat that has a very large um, male genitals, um, and it also has the uh, the bottom region of its uh, of its ass uh, cut out. Zero. Uh, we can go only go one. Uh, Mike. Uh, a very injured Paul Walker. With a tiny red car and a boner. One. All right, Justin. Um, a glory hole attendant uh, with a butthole cut out. One. All right, uh, Tux. All right. Uh, it's a it's a gay Hitler, and uh, his, his the butthole is somewhat cut out. Has you know, somewhat just just a little bit, but not not entirely. Gay Hitler. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it is kind of funny. Um, this one is an is is ninja. Do you know what is is is? A what? Uh, this is a is is ninja. Do you know what is is is? I think. Yeah, it's an is is ninja. Um, but uh, like much like the other costumes, kind of as a mockery this towards them. Exactly. You are on it. Its butthole is cut out. Oh wow! Um, I'll give that a one. Oh, I thought you sounded enthused at first. I'm that hurt my feelings a little bit. Dwight? Uh, yeah, it's my turn again. Okay, my costume idea is a uh, stupid. The stupid lady's on the phone, slowly realizing that the Craigslist survey she's doing is bullshit. With the butt, with the butthole cut out. Yeah, um, I knew that a long time ago, but it was pretty entertaining, so I stuck with it. <laughs> That's right. 
You were on KZLN 101.5. Your husband put a, your husband put us up to this. We knew he'd be sleeping. He told us he'd be sleeping, and we used that as a way to get you. Zing. All right. Way to go, you guys. Zing, zap, zip. Boop now cut your butt hole out. Yep. Yeah. Now, now, get it as a now for being such a good participant, you do actually win a costume from us. It is a sexy vampiress, but With the butthole go. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. See, right. that would be, that's awesome. the perfect way to get your husband back is to just like yeah. go grab a pair of your pants and cut the butthole out and just walk around the house like that. Yeah, he said if you did that, he'd quit sleeping with the lady at work. Okay, I want you to send that costume to your mama's house. Zip, zag, zing, zow. Got us back. Oh, you. Oh, oh, butt you're, slammed. You're I just got butt slammed. Oh, I yeah. Want, I want the costume of your mama, but with the butthole cut out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but for real, but, uh, for real, before we let you go, how big are your titties? I have a really good night, guys. How many fingers? How big, how big are your tits, girl? How many fingers? <laughs> she hung up. <laughs> I like that one. That was a really good one. <laughs>